My friends, hello and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Mornings, where Mrs. Flux and I are Minecrafting in the morning. How you doing, Mrs. Flux? Morning. <laughs> I want to see the taco that I made. I'm so excited because I finished it last week and I, uh, I really love the taco. Uh, along with uh, Bobby's hot dog. Right? I love it so much. Ah! Hold on, let me splash myself with some night vision to look at the the glorious taco. I love the taco. Those look good. Right? It looks like it's all full of good stuff. Uncle Buck in the house. What's up, Uncle Buck? What's up, Jason J? How's it going? Morning. Morning. I'm so proud of the taco. Thanks to, um, who is it, Bad Duck? Bad Duck. Yeah, Bad Duck helped me round it out. <laughs> Night Vision by Calvin Klein. <laughs> Oh, man. I really wish the lights would shine through the wool, but it doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't seem right that it doesn't shine through the wool, but... Yeah. Speaking of Bad Duck, what's up, my dude? Bad Duck says, what's up, my dudettes? Hello, hello. I was just thanking you for helping me round out my taco. <laughs> Good lord, it's too early in the morning. It's 9.45 in the morning here on the East Coast. I almost said West Coast. Now, to what? round it all out because you have a hot dog and you have a taco, you need a Dave's Double from Wendy's. Oh, a Dave's Doubles from Wendy's? Yes. You need a Dave's Double. What? Oh. Uh... Dave's double. So I'm going to have to make a burger? Yes. I think I can do that. But, okay, so it's funny because I'm going to have to make a round burger, but the square patties. I think I can do this. Uh, well, okay, so it's going to be, I'm going to have to do, like, a circle, and then... You have to make it layer by layer. Yeah. All right, guys, I know what I'm building. Dave Nelson in the house. Speaking of Dave, uh, Dave Double is currently $2 in the app. What? Yeah, most places now, if you download their app and you order food from them, it is, like, at least $5 cheaper now, nowadays. Well, that's... Even from their own website. Even if you roll your ass up to their store in real life. They'd rather you order from the app? They'd rather you order from the app because that's fucking cheaper. That's so weird. Isn't it? I don't like today's society. It's lazy! Today's society is weird. Jason J says, I'm grilling burgers today. Oh, hell yeah! It's like super... Well, must do it in honor. Okay. It's like super cold and rainy here. I know you ain't scratching at my door. It's super cold and rainy here and really sad. Should I put the burger? Yeah, I think I'm going to put the burger here. When Fontaine gets here, you must... Uh... Yes, I must show the monument. It's snowing there and you're making your grill and... Oh, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Don't let no rain stop you from... Or snow stop you from grilling burgers. Thanksgiving when I did, when I uh, grilled the turkey. Yeah. It was really windy that day. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, that was and bad. And you were like lifting the turkey out. We're like, oh. I don't know what I should do the bun out of. Never too cold to grill. No. Never. Do you think this would be a good bun? Up to you. What did you make the hot dog bun out of? Oh, that's a good that's a good point. I think I did make it out of uh Yeah, I did make it out of okay. 
Of course. No wonder. Because it's bun-like! It's bun-like. Everybody needs some buns. Mmm. Okay, so I got one. Hold on, I need a, a diagram or something really quick. Bad Duck says, Flux, you ever look at your email last night? I sent you a pic of the Chupacabra. I did! I looked at first, because it... I wasn't sure who the email was from, and I'm just like, this seems kind of shit. But I'm like, no, we were literally talking about the chupacabra, and I opened it, and I'm like, ow! It's a, it's a chupacabra dog. A chupacabra dog? Yeah, you know how certain dogs kind of look like the chupacabra, like rat terriers, and and uh, they can kind of look like the chupacabra with their, with their eyes and their snouts? No. Ah, okay, well, whatever. Yeah, the chupacabra chihuahua. The chupa chihuahua. The, the chupa chihuahua. The chupa chihuahua. That's what it was. <laughs> I just totally stroked out, but it's okay. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold on, like a chupa chihuahua. That's fun. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for because I'm gonna have to make it kind of plump. So I'm going to start with a base, and then I'm going to have to bring it out by one, and then up by two, and then back in, and I Listen think that should be sufficient for the bun. I know you have plump buns. You do not know <laughs> in the world that you have plump buns. I used to have plump buns, and then I lost a lot of weight. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, back in, like, what was that, 2018, 2019, I was, like... I was like 50, like 40 pounds heavier, and it was, it was, that was funny. It was all in my thighs and my ass. <laughs> oh, yes, it was. oh my god. Um, well, you were the one that brought it up. I was talking about the buns, the burger buns. You're the one who came in talking about that my buns. Out. You brought up the fact that you you were 40 50 pounds heavier and it went straight to your glutes and your thighs it did and the chaps okay how big do i want to make this Let's, we're gonna we're gonna make this Ooh, baja blast that is the best freaking mountain dew oh that's the only mountain dew is the baja blast can you count that for me my eyes are too oh okay so yeah you're the eyes are already screwed up, so let's bring the wipes down to my level. Well, I can't. I can hardly see that you have. You don't wear glasses or even need glasses. Okay, what do you need from me? I need you to count the blocks so that I can make that size circle. Rosalind Duke in the house. Good morning, lady. Three, four. That's nine on the top part of the square. What do you mean? So it's like nine on each side. Nine with the forty-five. Yes. Okay, yeah, that top one uh -huh. is nine. Okay, across. yeah, but I need to know the up... Oh, okay, so it's going to be nine across, but the going out is going to be probably, like, what, 40? Or 20? What? Like, the, from the center out, how far is that? That's what I was asking. No, That's can't... what I was asking you to count, Beach. You can... Not the easy one. You can figure that out because, like, all you gotta do is make one side and then copy it three more times. Why do you gotta do it that way? <sighs> okay. Be... Okay. Fine. I'll do it your way. So it's one, two, three, four, five, four. Okay, so it's nine across, right? Mm-hmm. Shit. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then how many from here? Okay. Nope. Keep go. Keep 
one right there. Keep one right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's one, two, three. Oh, like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't want to fix that one block? I, I'm going to go back and fix all of them. Oh, good Lord. Okay. oh my god, okay, fine. So that's Better. Yep. Alright, so two, but that one will be diagonal. You don't need one right there. So one, two? Yep, one, two. Alright, now this one will overlap like the one, one, two. Uh, two of them or one? Just two, right there. Okay. Alright, so let's see, that's one, two, three, four. Alright, so staggered. Diagonally, one block each. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Now basically just repeat that little process sideways. Flip. Turn to your left. There you go. What do you mean repeat the process like another four singles? All right. So... Like the, the diagonal. So one. No, you need the overlap there. Like that? Yeah. All right. You need the overlap too again. Like that? Yep. This okay. one's three diagonal. Yeah, I was going to do three diagonal. No. Oh, three like this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Wait, like, or am I doing it the wrong way? Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> so it should be on this side. Hold on. Uh... One, two, three, four, and then it was three, and then what was it? No, wrong. Okay. It was two, two, and then three. So two, two, okay. Two, two, and then three. Am I leaving this? Like, this seems off. It is. Oh. See how this Z piece is diagonal to that? This Z piece needs to be diagonal to this one. I don't know how to do that. Literally add one block right here. Mm -hmm. Take that block away. Okay. Add one block here. There we go. Cool beans. Uh, do the same right there. There you go. Cool beans. All right, and now you're back to your other edge. Wait, did you make the four? No, that was the three. Sorry. <laughs> so then on top of that one, on the outside. Just make a giant square the size of the diameter you want and then start taking out the corners. I'm not I can't I can't visualize it like that in Minecraft. I like this. One uh four like that. I have a hard time with the visuals in Minecraft. Hmm? Add another one right there. Right here? To the end. This end? Okay. David Nelson says a White Castle burger would be easier since it's square. But I want to try and do something. You're so pathetic. 
I want to do something a little challenging. Lefty with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Lefty. With an eggplant emoji. You know what that means. Now you're back to nine. I have to go out one. Like here. And then nine. Okay, that's going to be extremely difficult to replicate. Um, real quick, thank you so much for that $5 super chat, Lefty. You know what that means. <clears throat> it means we're going to add to the eggplant today. Hold on, let me get the purple. For those of you who are new here, or who might not know, uh... Anytime that you uh, give a super chat, you get your monument added to, or you get a monument. Um, lefties is an eggplant. Yeah, they're sliders at best. That ain't no damn burger. Oh my god, are you still on the White Castle issue? I've never had a White Castle burger. I have not either, and I don't really want to spend the money to go to a fast food restaurant that's going to feed me sliders. I like sliders. Yeah, as an appetizer. No, I like you. Okay, Mrs. Flux. You know me. I, uh... I eat like a bird. I like to graze. I like to snack all day. I don't like the big meals. I like little bits, you know, little small meals throughout the day. So sliders are like... Fucking perfect and because those of there's us who have adult size freaking uh appetites like to eat the full size burger of a Dave's double. I'm not saying I won't eat a day. Well, no, I don't think I could eat a full Dave's. No, I eat you, the you, Dave's you single. Eat, shit, you, yeah, you eat a Dave's single. You don't eat a Dave's double. Yeah, I eat the singles. Now, I can sit there and eat a fucking Dave's double. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Buck says, uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did I see that? White Castle. I th oh, it's because I no, it's because this is on top chat, so I gotta go to live chat. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Flux likes her meat small. Bad ducks. <laughs> yeah, and Mrs. Flux likes her meat big. I guess. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh. I can't help it that I like my meat to have some girth. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's a joke! <laughs> Not a dick! <laughs> oh my god. But, uh... No, I don't... I like sliders, because, again, no, I... No, no, yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, I like sliders, too. Like, I'm not like, oh my god! <laughs> but... At the same time, like, I'm, I don't know. I just, no hate against people who go to White Castle, love White Castle. I just, I don't see the purpose or the point. So I don't think that I will ever frequent a White Castle, but. I, you know, I, I've never been to a White Castle, I've never had even, like, a White Castle burger, like, one that you heat up or whatever. You made me have an In-N-Out. Yeah, because In-N-Out is amazing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I guarantee you shut those your sliders. dirty whore mouth. I guarantee those sliders you that White Castle shut your mouth. And that double, double trash. You shut your dirty whore mouth. It is a step up from McDonald's. That's all the double, double is. I'm not going to invite you to next Minecraft morning if you keep this up, woman. I make Minecraft morning. morning. <laughs> Did you watch my head fill the room? <laughs> what? I'm not saying my head got too big, like I oh. can't fit in the room because my head's too big. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh... All right, look. To be perfectly honest with you, and you oh, are God. just biased because oh, you grew up in California. In and out. They have good, fr I will say, the burger tastes good, it's fresh, like, it's it's definitely a step up from McDonald's, okay? Like, I'm, I'm, as far as freshness goes, I would definitely put that on the caliber of Wendy's. But, in my humble, personal opinion, In-N-Out 
is in the middle of the pack when it comes to... They're at the higher end, but they are still in the middle of the pack when it comes to fast food. You shut your dirty whore mouth. <laughs> I am even going to take it one step f further. Oh, ding, God. Ding, ding, Five guys is better, bitch. <laughs> Ooh, them's fighting words. Them's fighting words. Yes, see? JKD Buck agrees with me. Wendy's all the way. Wendy's above, in and out. You know what? Fundyan's a truck driver, so he's probably been all over. So we'll ask him when he gets here. What does he think is the best fast food restaurant? <laughs> you don't even know what to say right now. You are beside yourself. <laughs> Your mom went to college, too! And see, I don't even have to go to work today, so I can annoy you all day today! <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna... Ooh. Okay, so I will say, Five Guys' downfall is solely the price of their... their yeah, food. they got expensive like, as hell. It's always been expensive. Like, bitch, I am not trying to put all the kids in, through college through Five Guys, okay? Just through my one meal, I can put th somebody through a, at least one quarter of college. And that's right? unacceptable. <laughs> like, your food is good, but it's not good to be paying those kind of fucking prices. Yeah. That's a lot. I will say, though, they do hook you up on the fries most of the time, where they throw that extra little boop in the bag for you. The little extra boop in the bag the for little you? little extra boop in the bag. Everybody loves the extra boop in the bag. I mean, my God, if I'm paying, like, $9 for a fucking uh, container of fries, you better boop my bag. <laughs> <laughs> you better boop my bag! Oh my god, the four for four deal? Well, it might be five dollars now, but still. Love that deal. When that came out, I swear, that's all I would eat for a while, because that was... She loved it. I could get my burger, I could get my nuggets, and I could get my fries, and it was glorious. I don't know if I counted this correctly. I did not! Jacked. Yeah, we're. Oh, I think because I did. <laughs> what? You're saying Five Guys prices, Bobby, are so high because of the fries? Is that what you're trying to say? Their fries are good. Yeah, I mean, no, yeah, I'm not denying their fries are good. They're absolutely delicious. What? I'm miscounting one of them, and I'm having trouble. Uh, is it because I did... Oh, I did two there instead of three. Okay. I mean, I love the burgers. I love the hot dogs. I have nothing to complain about Five Guys food. The food is delicious. It's just the price of the food. I'm not willing to pay that. When I could go out, get my own, like, burgers and hot dogs, and I can grill them out <laughs> for a fraction of the price. <laughs> oh, look, I did it right. I did it right. You can't see, because, uh, oh, Fundyan just got here. What's up, Fundyan? We've been waiting for you, because Mrs. Flux had a question. Okay, so, Fundyan, you are a truck driver. Good sir. I'm assuming you have probably been over most of the United States, if not all. What would you consider to be the best fast food? If you even eat fast food. But we were on the debate of in and out and how in it while in and out is not bad, it is just not top tier. It is in the middle of the pack as far as fast food goes. Burger F1 is better. Is that F1 or is that Fee? Fee! Fee! See, I do like, I, I really do like Wendy's. Like, they're fresh, never frozen beef. Like, Project Metal Music in the house. What's up? 
Bobby, shut up. And I'm in a no way condoning people to just start eating fast food. Like, it's, it's, I just, you know, we all have our vices. We have things. Like, sometimes you don't feel like cooking, so you go out and you grab something to eat. I get it. I do it all the time, too. <laughs> Hey, sometimes, especially when you just get home oh, late. Oh, Roy Rogers. I remember Roy Rogers. I remember. I you. think they still got them at certain parts around the country, but they don't have them here in Maryland anymore. At least not that I've ever seen. The last one we had was like, I think it was off Route 1 and it's not there anymore. <laughs> Fundine says Chester's. Chester's, ooh, Chester's is a more out, uh, like Midwest, out, out west one. I'm pretty sure. I've never heard of Chester's. No. Maybe I'm that's not. like a more northern thing. No, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, and you're gonna. I feel like I've definitely heard of it. Chester's. Oops. Chester's chicken. Oh, it's in Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, I was like, I feel like Chester's is a chicken place, but I like That's churches. Why I've seen it because when I went down to Florida, like when I visited Florida, I saw all these Chester's chickens. Ooh, okay, so what do you think of uh, Church's chicken? Church's chicken is beast. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I am so sorry, Bobby. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were back. She I just sat. sat on the cat. Oh, just... <laughs> Thank God I don't weigh anything. <laughs> He's like, uh, hello. He really was. Oh, man. I just, I like churches. I do. I, don't get me, yeah, don't get me wrong. I really love churches. And I love the honey they throw on the biscuits, too. I love honey on all biscuits. Oh, next I'm gonna make a giant biscuit with honey on it. Well, I mean, I will say that, like, every region, especially within the United States, has, like, their own thing that, like, we claim for cooking. Right? Like, up north in New England, like, that's seafood and lobsters. Here in Maryland, our claim to fame is blue crabs. Like, we... I'm sorry, but anywhere else in the United States, if you see something on the menu that says Maryland crab, believe me, babes, it's not fucking Maryland crab. It's some stupid imitation where the, the owner or the chef or something came to Maryland, got a taste of how we do our crab cakes or we do our crabs, and they take it back and they try and fucking imitate it off of a Google fucking recipe that they just splash their own ingredients in and make their own. But it is not Maryland crab. It does not taste the same. If you want to know what our flavors taste like here, you got to come oh here and try. Oh, my God. Okay. But anyway, so I got on a rant there about Maryland. Sorry. Project Metal Music member for eight months. Thank you so Ooh. much for being an eight-month member. A up, Mocha Dukes. Thank you so much for being a member for eight months. Holy cow. Legal Vice is in the house. What's up, Jeff? How's it going? Hello, governor. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Maryland crab is just Old Bay. No, no. There's more to it, fun dying. Oh, my goodness. Rosalind Duke with a $20 super chat installment payment. Hell yeah, Rosalind. Uh, let me add to Fundyan's monument, which he got a member chat, and I do believe Fundyan is copper. Or, I mean, uh, Project Metal Music is copper. No, I thought he was iron. No, he's copper. Oh. No, but see, then the South, like, oof, the South takes a lot of the cooking, though, because, like, the South is just really good at cooking. With all their spices and everything else like that that they throw in. And they just throw love into their cooking. Like, you can genuinely just... God, it just tastes so good. <laughs> it does. It really does. And then, I'm not even going to get into the argument of, like, southern barbecue. Like, which state has the best southern barbecue. I will say, me personally, my favorite. I do love uh, Smoky Mountains. Um... 
style barbecue because I do like smoke to more to my barbecue. But then I also really like the um, it's because of the Old Bay and the vinegar here in Maryland. But I really like the uh, North Carolina style uh, barbecue because I, there's that tanginess in there, and I really like I like the tangy. <laughs> Hell yeah, thank you so much for that $20 super chat, Miss Rosalind. You are the best. Woo -woo. Uh, Legal Vice says, I like when people... <laughs> oh, damn, Bobby, you taught me something. I didn't Jeff. know North Carolina had uh, two types of barbecue. I only knew that they had, you know, like one style. But, uh, hey, I really like at least one style of their barbecue. I'll, I guess I'll have to try the other half. I, I like, I, man, I miss some good barbecue. I want some good barbecue. Well, not this Thursday, but next Thursday we're oh, going to Mission Barbecue! Hell yeah, I love Mission Barbecue. They're the best and closest thing to real barbecue that we have. Well, I do love the fact that they cook all that meat, like, right there in that truck the yeah. morning before. Yeah. Like, that's really cool. They, they cook all their stuff, like, super fresh. That's why, and, man, their brisket is so good. I love the brisket yeah, so I'm much. Yeah, I'm not even a huge fan of brisket, but, like, it's got to be cooked right, and, like, they do it right. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hearing you out. Hear me out. Hearing you out. Tonight for dinner. Oh, my God. Tonight for dinner. No. Oh, but why? We did tacos last night. We did. Ta the tacos were so bomb. Oh, I got some carne asada tacos last night. They were so yummy. So can I just ask a question? Of me or of chat? Well, I guess of everybody. You and chat. Question. Why is it called carne asada? Like, why isn't it just called steak tacos? I mean, it's grilled chicken tacos. Like, you don't, it's not called, like, polo tacos. Pollo taco. I don't even know how to say chicken. See, this is how stupid I am. But it, it is <laughs> pollo tacos. Is it really? Yeah, a lot of times. Then why it'll is it say... always written like on menus as like grilled chicken tacos? Because or you shrimp see, tacos. You see that it like. But then they throw in carne asada tacos. Why not just you call only it steak? you only why is see the that one being you only see you only see that at like Taco Bell when we go to actual restaurants. The place we went to last night called it carne asada tacos, and I got three grilled chicken tacos. <laughs> So make it make sense, boo. It's the way it's the way the steak is cooked. Is it? I think so. Cuz it's kind of like I think it's kind of like the same with bulgogi where bulgogi is beef, but it's the way it's cooked. Because you can get a regular burger in Korea, but you can like at McDonald's, but you can also get a bulgogi burger at McDonald's, which I got one time. It was a bulgogi burger. It was just, it was a, it's, it's the same thing as, it's just the Korean way of cooking the beef. It's like the same thing. It's just, it's imagine, like, you saw how I had the steak last night. Bobby, I will always fight over food. I have told Flux since the inception of our relationship yeah, it's that I love you she... and I love food. But I do apologize, food has been here first. Bro. Bro, you know, this woman has food aggression like she's never been fed in her life before. I really and do. And I don't it's, even it's a, understand. It's a red flag and a downside of me. That's a huge problem for me. Like, don't touch my food. Don't touch my drink. I will bite your fucking head off. If I off. leave any of my food, like, if I don't touch my food for more... <laughs> get the cameras! Let's be a vi! Get the camera! So, like, if I don't touch my food for, like, 30 seconds, this bitch is like, can I have your fries? Can I have your food? And I'm like, <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Mind you, if I even, like, just reach for something, but it's in the direction of her food, this woman is like, get away from my food! And I'm like, woman! Well, see, the thing that I find most hilarious is, like, you're seeing them pop up on, like, I at least see them pop up on Facebook Reels. Of where, like, somebody's, like, sitting there eating, like, a bag of chips, and they've got, like, their phone 
and their spouse or their partner, like, goes to, like, grab their phone, and they, like, freak out about the food, and they're like, oh, you wanted the phone? Like, here, just, just take the phone. Like, that is me and you to a fucking T. Like, yeah, you're, you go to grab you're my aggressive phone, with and your I food. would freak, yes, I would be like, no, don't touch my food, and you're like, no, nah, bitch, I'm just going for your phone. Like, oh, yeah, you can have that. Call whoever you want. Do whatever you want. Like, but don't touch my food. <laughs> um, it's... It's, uh, it's slightly concerning, but again, she has all the food she could want, she just, god Babe, I don't understand it, I don't know why it's there, okay, I just, it's just how I feel, don't touch my food, like, it's not happy, please. <laughs> oh, god, for the woman. I mean, so I will say that, like, I, I, so grew Mrs. Up, I grew up with 12 other cousins. So Mrs. Flux is a hangry... Go ahead, screw it up. <laughs> Chupa Chihuahua. <laughs> Chupa Chihuahua, that's what I'm calling it from now on. A Chupa Chihuahua? Yeah. Yo quiero taco bell. It's a Chupa Chihuahua. No. What? How dare I be called a chihuahua? No, you're not a chihuahua. You're I a chupa least, chihuahua. I am at least a Jack Russell Terrier. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look. Oh, it was a joke. Come on. Oh, I fucked that up. Wow. Wait, no, I didn't. Did I? Wow. Yeah, I think I fucked that wow. up. Okay, woman! <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ, woman. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm in a spicy mood. You still haven't shown fun dying in this truck. I know, I know, but I'm trying to build my burger! Okay, hold on, this is the middle. How much did I screw it up? What was that? I did it! Yay! Look! Ooh! What'd you barbecue, Jeff? Ooh! Who's barbecuing? I literally just asked Jeff. Oh. Pay attention! <laughs> Man, for dinner, please. Let's just go get barbecue. <clears throat> I'm telling you. We can do it. We can go get barbecue tonight. It's raining. <gasps> Smoked brisket oh. with baked beans and mac and cheese. Yeah, we're going to Mission Barbecue tonight. That sounds very heavy and filling and it sounds delicious <laughs> god i want some brisket you know so like, there's two like at yeah least we're going me, to we're we're getting we're getting at least barbecue for me, tonight. there's two different types of eating like there's like the stuff that just like it's kind of like a lighter food like i could sit here and eat like a tuna fish sandwich and some chips and, like, that'll tide me over for, like, an hour or two. But it doesn't sit heavy, like, in your stomach, right? Mm -hmm. But then you eat, like, red meat, like, the smoked brisket and baked beans and mac and cheese. And, like, you oh. just think about that and how, like, at least for me, it, I think about how heavy that sits in my stomach. And, and like, it, like how happy <laughs> like, and into, like, a food coma I would fall because of the heaviness of all that. Oh, oh my God. Is, whew. Jeff, you made my mouth water. Jeff, <laughs> try, stop trying to steal Mrs. Flux from me! <laughs> stop it, Jeff! I'll eat again on Tuesday! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. Yeah, we're, we gotta do, we gotta do barbecue for dinner tonight. I want brisket. Look at how good I'm almost done with the circle, and I didn't even mess it up. Oh, no? You did mess it up. Not once, huh? I never said I didn't mess it up once. I'm just saying 
I didn't mess it up. That's a bold statement. You're a bold statement. I know. <laughs> oh, DK Cripple in the house. What's up, DK Cripple? Oh, man. Oh, Fundyne, what up? Oh, yeah, Mrs. Flux wants me to show Fundyne his truck. Well, not just that, but, like, I, I want to know what he wants hauled on his trailer. Well, that hell truck has, like, it's a big fuel tanker, I think. Well, I, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I was kind of gonna do, but, I don't know, if he wanted something else, like, I would see if I could do it, like, try and get something else. Da 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 Boom. What do you guys think so far? <laughs> this looks so cool. So this is Fundyan's it needs bigger tires, Bad Duck says. <laughs> I love what you did with the smokestacks. Oh, David Nelson likes what you did with the smokestacks, too. I really like... I like the bone. That's like with the bone. Mm. It's a bone smokestack. Smoke snack? Smokestack. Smokestack. I, I heard you wrong. Looks like it has a rail gun out the back. It does kind of, doesn't it? That looks real cool. Like, and this is like where the back is going to be, I think. That's the, yeah, back, tra like the trailer where the wheel back there is going to be. Okay. <clears throat> What are you going to do with the inside? Oh, I missed. Oh. Well, this is a pretty cool view. Yeah, they think that it needs a little bigger tires, babe. When you pull back and look at it, it kind of needs bigger tires. Like when you're looking at it from... It does. It <laughs> tires. Okay. Just, uh, just, just a, a little. When you're up close, when you're up close, the tires look, you know, pretty big. But um, yeah, pulling pulling back from it a bit. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> the tires bigger. That's no big deal. But um, they all think it looks awesome. So this is just a, a giant like jet engine that like even the hood is part of the engine like it just goes through the whole body and then comes out the back here oh nice that's really cool I like how you have the lava flowing and this is your fifth wheel hitch I like that nice attention to detail thank you thank you I try <laughs> Because while I have been around semi-trucks, I have not been, like, that up close and personal. And so trying to, like, look at semi-trucks and compute that over to, like, Minecraft and still make it, like, look good is not 100% easy. Yeah. See, and that's why, like, I have a hard time. That's why I ask for a lot of help because I paint. I can visualize something and, like, paint it sometimes but when it comes to Minecraft I have a hard time visualizing how to make the blocks do what I want them to do but the truck looks really cool I always have a hard time when I visualize what I want you to do but then you don't do it <laughs> bitch <laughs> <laughs> bitch <laughs> Rude. Okay, so I'll make the tires. That's not difficult. That's an easy... 
He's online! Is that... Brother? Yeah. Ah! Oh! We should make him play Minecraft with us one time. No, he's not going to. He might. No. He, he might. Won't. No, he won't. He might. Did we ever play Minecraft? Or was it always just Monster Hunter? Monster Hunter and then we... The other one oh, was say. that would be so fun to play Monster Hunter again. We used to play Monster Hunter all the time, and, um... That was a fun game. Obviously, I played with a bow. I wanna... Yeah, the tires are gonna be better. Hold on. I want you to tell me what you think. No, you can put lava right on top of the smokestack, or right on top of that, and... Oh, do you want me to show, want me to come look at it? Oh, no diggity. Man, I haven't been over to this area to like just farm and collect in like the longest time. And I need to extend this uh, spruce forest, like, down over here. Because that's what my original intent was. You know what I mean? Because we got some of the canyon, but I really need to, like, back it up. Or crater, rather. All right, so this is, what do you guys think of this? This is what Mrs. Flux is. She just put this down, which I think it looks pretty cool. Having the lava kind of flowing out the top. I think that looks cool. Bad Duck with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Bad Duck. Installment, installment towards my giant duck. Ooh! Hell yeah! One day, giant duck, we're gonna do a giant duck in the world. Hell yeah. We're, and that'll be... You can do exactly that. You can make that. That would be awesome. Hell yeah! Thank you so much, Bad Duck. Uh, let me add to your monument, which, um, do believe we put you over here. And I do believe we used, uh, I don't know if I used terracotta or concrete. So I'm just going to grab both and see which one. One's more, oh, that's the powder. <laughs> oh, and that is concrete. Okay. Thank you so much for that $5 super chat. Yeah, that looks better. What? Well, gotta start driving back. I'll be listening. Thank you so much for stopping by, Fundian. Baby, you want to read that one? Oh, think the Reavers from Serenity. Oh, I was going to say you could have read the Fundian member for... Oh, I'm, I'm, I didn't know what... I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Fundian member for 11 months. Thank you so much for being in the basement for 11 months. Oh, my God. Right? We're going to get arrested. No, 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 no. They come into the... They live in the basement and chill in the basement. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, okay. yeah. Right. The basement's where we all chill. Oh, so they can come and go freely. Then. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, no. You had me scared there for a minute. No, 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 no. <laughs> the basement, the basement is where we chill. We, uh, you know, we we chill. we light the incense. You know. 
Kind of like that 70s show? Yes! <laughs> yes, that's what you think of when you think The Basement is that 70s show. Um, think the Reavers from Serenity. Thank you so much for being a member for 11 months. That's awesome. I like that movie. Have I seen that movie? I think I'm... I think I might have made you watch it. Because remember, everybody used to say I used to look like that girl. No, I don't remember. Everybody used to tell me, oh, you look like the girl from the Flyer, the Firefly movie. And the Firefly movie is Serenity. Oh. Firefly was the TV show that Joss Whedon created. And then Serenity is the offshoot movie. Now, the girl in Serenity, the main character... Um, she play. I believe she played Sarah Connor in the uh, Terminator Chronicles or whatever. One of them freaking little offshoots. And remember, everybody used to say I looked like her. Yeah. No, not really. I don't remember that at all. But I'll take your word for it. Yeah, because I made you watch the movie because I'm like, this is the girl that everybody says I look like, and you're like, you don't look like that. I'm like, yeah, I know I don't look like that. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember, but okay, I'll take your word for it. It was around the time that we went to Elephant View and we met Jess and Dan. Oh! That was a fun trip. That was. But no, I don't remember. Okay. Well, I do. Crazy what my brain chooses to remember, but I can't remember what I had last week for dinner. Which day? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes it might, uh... It's your hit on the incense. Okay. Hold on one second. I have to add to Fendayan's monument. Oh! Well, then add to it. It's smooth basalt. There we go! I was like, oh! Oh! Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. All right, back to the boyga. Now, I'm just going to make a hamburger because I'm not... A hamburglar? Not burglar. It's burger. Okay. You said you had to add to his monument. You already added to his monument. <laughs> I really love the, the food genre that we're going with for the moment. You're going with for the moment. <laughs> that I'm going with for the moment. You're just making a buffet over here. <laughs> because it's like practice. This is how I'm practicing. David Nelson, I was going to say she can make the, uh, the Hamburglar. <laughs> Instead of Grimace? No, Grim they're all terrifying. Okay, I am asking chat. Do you guys remember the Ronald the McDonald Ronald McDonald's cartoon movies from like the early 2000s? I never watched like And I the Far Flung Forest. Like I I knew the little character like the Hamburglar Grimace like I know those characters and whatnot, but, like, I didn't know they created, like, a cartoon oh, yeah. or whatnot. Oh, yeah. And That's get weird. this. For any of you who do know, I'm about to hit you in your nostalgia bone. Oh, uh, there's nothing like the great outdoors and the far fun florist is best, of course. If you want to get camping the great of these, there's nothing like... Oh, bad duck. What? See... He says, Mrs. Flo there's flowers... There's flowers and squirrels and fish and frogs Caves and rocks and lots of logs. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. So he says, Mrs. Flux, I would be concerned with the amount of meat Flux is making lately. See, <laughs> normally, Bad Duck, you would be right. But I have said this before, and I oh will say God. this again. She's more gay than I am, okay? She's more gay than me. I have nothing to worry about in that regard. <laughs> <coughs> I have more worry about her than she would have about me. Not that you have to worry, of course. Yeah. <laughs> no, and I mean, I literally just made a taco. 
you know? I did it! I made at least a giant circle, so that's the bottom of the bun. How about the Fraggle Rock song? Oh, God. Man, things from our childhood and things from the past. What was the... I think... I, like, I don't... Google it. Rude! <laughs> it sounds like a figment of Flux's imagination, to be honest. It's not. They had three different little, like, I think they were, like, 30-minute or 45-minute, like, uh, videos. And one of them, like, aliens invaded. One of them, they went This was to... something with Jim Henson. How did I never know this? What? Fraggle Rock. Yeah. I love Jim Henson back in the- How did I never know You love this? all things Muppet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, whoa, most of the whoa. things. Do not put my business out on the internet. Like, not the entire- Like, the entire world doesn't like Labyrinth. Are you kidding me? Hey, hey, I will fight someone to the death over that, okay? We all Labyrinth will! is an amazing movie. It is! And don't they dare try and remake it. Jennifer Connelly and David Bowie did amazing. And yes, okay, the premise is kind of weird that a Goblin King is going after like a 16, 17 year old girl. No, I think she was younger than that, wasn't she? I don't know, but that's how old Jennifer Connelly looks in the movie, so that's the age that I'm gonna go with. And it's just, I know it's weird, and I And understand. then he steals her baby brother to, to try get her. and get her. It's weird, but I love it. Don't you take it from me! <laughs> yes, you have no power over me! You have no power here, Gandalf the Grey. Whoa! Don't be s Don't be mixing movie quotes! I mixed the movie quotes. Guys, there's gonna be a domestic. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> joking, joking, joking! In Minecraft only. In Minecraft only. <laughs> Oh my god. No, but the Labyrinth will always be, like, kind of a classic, even though it's weird. Just a bit. It is weird. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you know, looking back on it now, it's like, okay, he's an adult going after a teenager. Like, yeah, there's nothing right about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. That is definitely not, like, a kid's movie. Um... My mom still let me watch it anyway. <laughs> See, I never watched it until I met Mrs. Flux. And Mrs. Flux was Which like, you have to watch- Which way would you want to go? Up or down? We're helping hands. <laughs> she chose down. I always wondered that. Why the f did she choose down? Like, why didn't you choose up? Who in their right mind when they're like, would you like to go up or down? And she's like, well, I'm already facing down, so I might as well go down. And then they're like, oh, she chose down. And she's like, oh, well, was that the wrong choice? And it's like, you dumb bit. Like, why did you not choose up? Who would not have chose up? I don't know. Obviously, we all know I would have chose up. See, but I think we all would have chose up. But I know, because then it doesn't make, like, it's not the mood, like, it's Hollywood, like, it doesn't progress the story necessarily as excitingly as it, it could. She <laughs> might never Bobby have says, trouble. Bobby says, who doesn't want to go down? Oh my god, Bobby! <laughs> Bobby! I know we've been in the gutter a couple times this stream, but like... Whoa! Whoa, get out of the storm drain! <laughs> Pennywise might be down there. Get out of the storm train. Oh my god. Oh, I stopped pulling. Oh my god. Then. <sighs> Jeff does do a good Ludo voice. Ludo? Yeah. Ludo. Oh, Ludo. Yeah, he does a good Ludo voice. See, I just. I, like, uh. God, just everything about that movie. Like, it was just. Except for the cod piece. The cod piece? David Bowie wore. 
Oh. Everything except that was great. I mean, it was the 80s. I mean, that's... Everything was, like, more flamboyant in the 80s. And I mean that oh, okay. in the most... I mean that in the most respectful way, okay? Like, I don't mean that as a derogatory thing. Like, I... I love the 80s. Favorite decade. Never born into it. Sad about that. Missed it by a year. <laughs> Missed it by a year, but it was amazing. Oh, good lord. I'm almost done with the first layer. Well, isn't Pennywise technically like a giant spider demon, like, in the sewers that, like, he projects himself to, like, look as the, cl as, as the clown Pennywise? i never seen the movie, and I'm not going to. You don't want to. I'm not going to. And, I mean, the book is so much worse. Nope. I'm not into horror, really. There's enough horror in real life! There really is nowadays. Ugh. There's enough horror in real life. We don't. I don't need it in my movies. In my entertainment! So, uh, I'll say this outside when we go smoke. What? Smoke break. Because it has to do with that lady on the mom paw trail. Oh, yeah. So, there was a lady who was murdered a little while ago. Uh, we have a, a famous... Uh, it's not even famous, but... Famous we have, around here. Fa yeah, I guess. Famous around here. There's a trail up here. And, um... Like a hiking trail. Yeah, it's called the mom paw trail. And, um... Very popular... Um, but this lady, I guess, what is it? Jeez, it was basically like a year ago. Yeah, now. it was like almost a year ago at this point. Yeah, she, uh, she was... Out for a jog! Unalived on the trail. Yeah! And, um... Still haven't found who did it. Still haven't found who did it. Um, they have a suspect, but... I mean, we're all they have a look, they we're have, pretty much all of the belief this guy is long gone now because like he's been I supposedly seen in like different states already. But so. they don't know his name. They just think they know his face. Well, I thought they didn't have an identity. So one of my coworkers, uh his son-in-law is a police officer. Uh -huh. And uh Yeah. Maybe they that's had all a I name, really want to say to have a face. <laughs> that's all I really want to say till we go smoke a cigarette. But like uh, It was like what? What part of the night or day was it? It was early in the morning, right? Guys, I don't understand why women still go jogging alone. No. That might be sexist to say I don't give a shit, but I don't understand why women go jogging alone because we keep getting kidnapped. And stolen! And killed! Like, I don't care how strong and independent I am, I'm not gonna go running on a trail alone, not these uh, days. Jason J says that similar to the three-year-old Elijah View case here in Two Rivers, Wisconsin. I'm sorry, I hope I said that correctly. Or pronounced that name correctly. Yeah. Well, dang. I mean, I I do agree with you to a certain extent because like society should be safe enough where women can go out like jogging on their own. But realistically speaking, that is not the world that we live in right now. Nope. Should you be able to do that? Yes. Are can you? Yes, you technically can, but you take a much higher risk doing that nowadays. Mhm. Mm and I mean, my God, if we go to the bathroom together, we can go jogging together, okay? Exactly. Like, by God. We're all drunk at the bar or the club, and we all go into the big bathroom together. Like, just take a buddy jogging with you. Yeah, just be take difficult. a damn buddy jogging. Ugh, <laughs> uh, but it is difficult. JKD Buck says, case in point, Sweden. What do you mean? Explain. Elaborate, sir. Case in point. Sweden. I don't know what that means. Is Nick... What, what is... What is Nick's nationality? He's Sweden. Swedish. 
Oh, so Yodi. Yes. Yodi. Yes. Yodi. <laughs> I love the way he says that. I am in no way trying to pick on him. She loves it so much. I love it so much. Like, it's, it's, I hear something and I love the way that it sounds. I must replicate it. She has to say it out loud over and over. I do, because it just, it tickles me. I'm sorry. So I never, whenever I, I say these things, I don't mean them as disrespect. She just, she likes the way it sounds. I just really like the way it sounds, and I, it, I, I'm of the mindset, like, okay, I'll just keep repeating the word, and. She just walks around all day I on can't. Saturdays and goes, yo, Eddie. I do. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> after she transfers you all either to Dave or Nick over to the Yodi Arius trial. She'll just walk I'll around just walk and be around like, Yodi. I'll just walk around all day. Just like, Yodi. Yodi. Oh, weirdo. I know. I'm so We all have our quirks, okay? Mm. I still married you, though. Oh, man. And then, of course, there's that Boeing uh, whistleblower yeah! that on live to himself on the second day of he the did, trial. He did, he did not. He, I don't believe he did. I mean, we all know that. He spoke up about this stuff for over 17 years, and then on the second day of the trial where, you know, he's being asked questions, he all of a sudden is just decides, all right, well, you know, I've done enough. Bye. Bye, world. No. No. <laughs> that doesn't happen. <sighs> they really, really think we are that stupid. Yeah, they do. And I mean, for a while there, and some of us still really are, but... What you gonna do? I mean, stupid's gonna stupid. What are you doing? Oh, uh, JKD Book said Sweden used to be very safe for women after night. Then they took in a bunch of, and now it isn't safe. Uh, YouTube censor bot will, you know. Oh, will. did YouTube censor it? No, no. Oh. I, I'm, I think he oh. censored himself because uh, he didn't want to. Isn't that sad? We live in an age where we have to censor ourselves. When we should have free speech. Right? Uh... The wonderful U.S. of A. At least we have more free speech than other countries. Do we? We do. We do. For now. Yeah. Because, you know, our government is pressuring uh, social media sites to take down rhetoric that they don't agree with. Oh, yeah, that trial happened, or that hearing happened this week. That was... Man, Supreme Court's on a roll, though, ain't they? They are just, like, popping out, like, decisions this year. Right. And it's, like, back in the day, what, they used to, like, they used to do, what, like, two cases? I don't like, know. Like, two big cases? I know they'd rule on, like, other stuff and, and whatnot, but, like, they'd have, like, two bigger cases that they'd take a year and they'd rule on. But now, I don't know, like, this year, they're just, like, they're popping out decisions. <laughs> Well, it is an election year. I know, and our government is trying some unprecedented bullshit things, to say the least. Unprecedented bullshit? That's what I'm gonna say? Yeah, they're gonna try everything they can. They have to. Oh, yeah. It's the last ditch ever! R.I.P. Headphone users! Because they know that we're all not happy with them. Yeah, well, because they're all fucking retards. So they're gonna do anything and everything that they can to ensure that they stay in that seat of power. Mm. Fucking ass. They're all asses. I mean, it's sad, kind of scary to think about, because you never thought it would happen here in America, but here we are. Hmm. You know what we need? We need good peasants again. We need a good <laughs> peasant uprising. I'm just saying, guys. Let's get the pitchforks, let's get the torches, and let's go. In Minecraft, of course. 
I was gonna say, you know what's better than pitchforks uh, to yell at the government is a tea party. We should have a tea party of some sort. Let's go get all the Lipton tea! <laughs> well, I'm like, back in the day, tea was the thing. Like, what do we have these days that we could be like, nah. no, 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 that was because it was imported from yeah, England. Yeah, England. But, like, what would we have to do? Like, trash all the electronics? Or, like, from, I don't know what, what we would toss into the ocean. Our cell phones because they track us. That's fair. And that honestly is what has truly like doomed society because you have everything at your freaking fingertips now. And it's made everybody slightly less smart because they don't have you can to do think about your, anything. You, you can, can just do Google all of it your right banking. There. You can do all of your shopping. Like you can, you know, handle all of your bill. Like there, you can do everything through your freaking phone now. Mm hmm. You can sync your phone to, like, computers, laptops. Yeah. You can cast your phone onto a TV screen. Like, hello? I grew up with a rotary frickin' phone. <laughs> we had one rotary phone in the frickin' kitchen. Now, mine wasn't that bad. I love that thing, because it had, like, one of, like, the really long wooden handles with, like, the fancy, uh, end pieces on it. Ah. It was, like, super, it was, like, a super fancy old wooden rotary phone that even had, like, a little, um, shelf thing where you could, like, like if you had to write down a note or something, mm -hmm. like, you could, you could sit there and just, like, write a note. Like, it had, like, a little space for you to put paper and a pen and Right down and Vader Todd just need. called us boomers. I am not a boomer. We are millennials, am... thank you. We're actually young millennials. Yeah, we're actually at the towards the the butt end of millennials. Yeah, which was weird because I always thought I was an older. They switched it. They genuinely switched it because we used to be at the head of millennials. Like I think it was like eighty four, eighty five used to be the end of Je like um Gen X. And yeah, end of Gen X, and, like, 86-ish was where Millennials started. Yeah, that still makes us young Millennials. Or mi no, but middle millennial Millennials. No, but, like, Millennials went up to, like, 2000 or whatever. No, Millennials... That, I'm saying they changed it, that that's what it used to be, not oh. what it is right now. And they, like... You got me over here clapping. They Mandela <laughs> affected us or something? Like the fruit of the loom. Like we can all agree, we all saw that frickin' cornucopia. That was there. Oh yeah. I'm sure if I could find any of my uh like young childhood clothes, like I'm sure my grandfather still has some somewhere that would in the be house. Funny. And if I found those fruit of the loom clothes that I used to have, I swear to God there will be a <laughs> cornucopia on it. What if there isn't though? What if, what if when they turned CERNed on, it corrected all of the, No, because like, there's picture Temporal I mean, okay, anomalies. look, I understand that AI is a thing, they can generate images nowadays, but there is a legitimate, like, a lady, like, she swore up and down about the cornucopia. People told her to, like, basically, shut up, sit down, you're being stupid. And she went through, found some of her old clothes, found the cornucopia on it, and posted it to the internet. Now, I'm, I know you don't believe everything on the internet, okay? But I'm saying, I remember the freaking cornucopia, and I feel like this is a giant experiment by the government to gaslight us to see how far they can oh, go. Oh, speaking of that, I asked about a uh, publisher's clearinghouse. And people do all remember Ed McMahon. Yes! See? See? Although I haven't seen the... And then publisher's clearinghouse comes out and is like, no, he never worked for us, bitch! I haven't seen that where publisher's clearinghouse was like, he doesn't work for us. Like, I haven't seen that article. What? Do you research... I haven't researched this. Oh. Okay. But this is just something I've heard about from you, but I haven't actually looked into it. Oh, damn it. You know what time it is. Oh, is it that time? It's that 
time. It's that time. It's time. Guys, you know what time it is. It is time to smoke them if you got them. All right, you have to. I'm cat locked currently. You have to help me because I'm cat locked. I'm cat locked. I need help. There you go. Yes. No. Please. Nope. I'm cat locked. I'm leaving you stranded. Oh no. All right, I'm just gonna uncat lock myself. <laughs> Come on, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Oh. I'm sorry, my dude. Yeah, we gotta go out front because it's still raining. All right, guys. It is time to... So I'm gonna leave you guys staring at my taco. Ooh. Right? Uh, you guys can look at my taco, admire my taco, and... Enjoy. And uh, we will be right back. Smoke them if you got them. The closest y'all are ever gonna get to. Oh me. my God, Mrs. Fox. All right, be right back.
Hello, hello. We are back. What is up, my friends? I hope anybody who smoked them while they had them. We are back. Oh my god, my phone started playing the thing. You always do that. Hold on, I have to send. Always predictable. <laughs> Which is it? This one? Yeah, it's that one. So, um, let me continue making. Uh, look at that. That's a good start to the bottom patty. What do you think? Or to the bottom bun. That's a good bottom bun. Yes. <laughs> that is a good bottom bun. Now, um, were we going to make... Uh, Wendy, uh, oh, it was going to be a Dave's double. I'm going to have to look at a picture of a Dave's double and see what kind of, like, um, like, how it's layered. What is up, future Mrs. Martin 2.0? How is it going? We are making a giant hamburger. We're making a Dave's double today. A Dave's double. We're making a Dave's double because I don't I don't know why. But I'm getting the bottom bun. Ma'am, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> Squid Pro Quo in the house was the bestie. How's it going? Uh Uncle Buck says, so what have we learned today? One, shut your whore mouth. Two uh, Sky Burgers are good. Three, Maryland Crab, and only Maryland Crab, and four, Jeff Head Brisket. <laughs> yeah, I think this has been very educational so far. Mm, talking about food. <laughs> I We might be hungry. I am always hungry. Yeah, well, okay, that's fair. I mean, look at the size of me. Yeah. My metabolism doesn't allow for you to get full. <laughs> Oh, uh, we are sleepy this morning. Sean went forever. Oh my goodness. I know Jeff was on with Sean last night and I fell asleep before it started, which is, I need to go back and rewatch it. But, um, good Lord. Yeah, I know it. It was like a super, uh, I went and saw the time and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, Squid says, I'm at the gym being a janitor. Ooh, fun. Don't you love that? Yeah, no, I was going to go over to um, uh, MG's uh, birthday slash celebration stream last night, but I ended up falling asleep on the couch a little early, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, Josh came on? And someone named, uh, Je uh, Moxie, maybe Moxie Dame Jess? Josh from Mean Copium is awesome. I haven't got to talk to Josh in a minute. I watched a little bit of his stream today, but I can only handle Chris Chan content so much before I'm like, oh my god. Fundian says sky burgers are okay, but fur burgers are better. Lol. <laughs> oh man. Um, hold on. Let me look up a, a Dave's. Uh, Dave's double. Okay, so it's the bottom. It goes the patty, cheese patty, lettuce, tomato. Okay. So the, we're going to do, I'm excited to see how you make the chez. What do you mean you're excited how I make the chez? I want to see what you make the chez out of. Well, I was going to make the chez out of uh, yellow concrete. Can you tell Flux to mod me? Squid pro quill. Oh, yeah. My, sorry, Squid. I thought you were already a mod. I got you back, girl. I meant to do this the other day. Sorry, yeah, Squid. Yeah, yeah, you meant to do it. Of course you did. More lies. You sit on the throne of lies. Shut up. <laughs> Ghostry in the house. What's up, Ghostry? 
Uh. Oh, I need to get it this way. Oh. oh whoa, fun dying. What? Sky burgers are okay, but fur burgers are better. LOL. <laughs> My sky burger is the best sky burger that I'll ever sky burger. Like I said, you got some nice buns there. My buns are the best buns. Yeah, babe. Yes, they are. Your buns are the best buns. My buns are the best buns! <laughs> Rosalind Dupe says, Oh, man, I need a wrench. No, I kind of put... So, um, I normally use a headset. You know, I have a headset for the mic. But today, I just kind of put it in between us instead of wearing it myself. Because I was like, ah, this, You know, Ms. Flux talks a lot now. Oh, now? Well, you've always, you, well, I'm trying to remember, I'm like, have you always talked this much? <laughs> yeah, she's always talked a lot. I love you. Bobby, close the door. <laughs> mommy and mommy and daddy are fighting. Uh, okay. Forget this. Okay. That is a good bottom bun. All right. Now, I don't know what I'm going to... Okay, for the patty. For the patty, should we do the stripped spruce? Does that look patty-ish? You look like a patty. Do I look like a patty? Oh, my God. I forgot to tell you this. Oh, my God. What? What? I forgot Dear to tell you God. this. Yesterday at work, okay. right? Yeah. I got yeah. I get the deliveries because I do the deliveries. Yeah. So I had uh some Amazon packages coming in. No. Way. Yes. Yes. And uh, the guy who was delivering the Amazon package, um, he seemed like a nice enough kid. Um and he goes, You mind signing for it? And I'm like, No, not at all. And, uh, he, he asked for my name. I'm like, you know, this is my name. And he goes, huh, you look like, you don't look like that. And I'm like, oh, okay. And he goes, you look like something with an S, like a Shauna. You look like a Shauna. And you I'm like, you do not look like a Shauna. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, cool beans. He goes, have a good day. And I'm like, okay, you too. And I'm like, what was that? That was so weird. I look like a Shauna. So that was that was my weird experience the other day. There are people in this world that are so stupid and do not know social decorum that they think simply by asking a question that they are just <sighs> innocent in it. And they don't understand how rude they are honestly fucking being. Yeah, this guy... their own stupidity. This, so you just... This guy didn't... I don't think he was quite all there. He was a kid. Yeah, he he wasn't quite all there. But, um... Oh, I need to make that way longer. That's what she said. Well, if you're telling me that he was, like autistic or he something. might have he might have been and on I the... take back what I said because that's a different scenario well but if you're just being stupid and ignorant to be stupid and ignorant that's a there's there's a difference well and that's like I don't I don't know if he was or was not on some type of spectrum <sighs> then I will reserve my comment and judgment So the corn, so it is. She's always random. Squirrel. Yeah, I don't know why I thought about that, but I had to tell somebody because I'm like, some dude said I looked like a Shauna. It's just a Shauna. Yeah, I guess I look like a Shauna. You're a Shauna. Which that was just, it was so random, and I was like, I had to, I was gonna text you and be like, so apparently I look like a Shauna. <laughs> No, you look exactly who you are. I've been told I look like a Megan. No. I've been, I've been told I look like an Amanda. Maybe I could see an Amanda, but... Is it the duh? 
because I'm crazy. What? All girls who name whose names end in a duh are crazy. I thought it was a like. Basically, I it... all girls are crazy is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I thought it was the a a or like the a h's that were crazy, like Sarah's and yeah, ending in a duh or a uh, just a uh. Like you're crazy. Oh, yeah. No, I know I'm crazy. I know that I got a crazy name and then I mean I'm... if you say my name in Spanish then I fall in that category. Y yeah. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> oh Lord. We make ourselves laugh. That's I'm all doing that matters. <laughs> And that's all that matters. Oh. I'm not doing the pat. Oh, I did that corner way fucked up. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that corner got way fucked up. <clears throat> what did you do? I don't know. I haven't what been. What did you do? I wasn't. I didn't count, and I just this one turned out good. So I'm like, oh, that'll be how that. Nope. So I did. You did not do that right. It's one. Two, three, Shauna equals four. sauna equals hot. <laughs> That's where his mind was going. Oh. One. Thank two, you for the breakdown, fun dying. Three. <laughs> do 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 do. Why is it still coming out wrong? <laughs> Mrs. Blood, stop laughing at me! Stop screaming, bro. Stop laughing at me. We're married, okay? So that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Went to school with a gal named Shayna and with a Shauna and a Shauna. Oh my god. That was like when I grew up in my friend group, there were like 17 Danielles. There was Danielle, Daniela, D. Uh, there were, we had a lot of Danielles growing up. Who do you think is Danny? Yeah, well, I've got a lot of friends named Danny. I think that was more of a pop. Well, Daniel and Danielle are a popular you know a lot name. Of, you know a lot of Jeffs? Yes, I know a lot of Jeffs. I know a lot of Dons, too. Yes, there are a lot of Dons. A lot of Dons and a lot of Kims. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 I think that's good for their square patty, because they got, like, those rounded edges. You know? Okay. They're not like square edges, they're like rounded edges. <sighs> bye, Torin. Have a good day. What's up, Torin? Good to have you here. Bye, Torin. <laughs> Just heading out. Best wishes to Flux, Mrs. Flux in the chat. Good to see you, Torin. Have a great day. Alright, so. That's what I'm doing for the size of the patty. It's going to overlap the burger. Or it's going to overlap the bun because technically they overlap. Not by this much, but whatever. It's going to look yummy. I've never had a burger made out of wood before. Uh, you know, they don't have meat in in Minecraft. So I can't really make like, this is the closest thing, looks-wise, to uh, a hamburger that I got. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Do we have any Entenmann's Donuts left, or did you kill all of them? I killed all of them. I didn't even get one of those! <laughs> I didn't even get one of those! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God! <gasps> Mrs. Flux! I told you, Entenmann's Donuts and Potato Chips are the... 
You gotta watch me around them because I will destroy them. Good lord. Those were gone before the cookies. <laughs> I got two of those! <laughs> what the, the the chips ahoy? I got two of those chips ahoy. I'm sorry. Oh my god. We have to go out grocery shopping yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah, but you can't have any of the cookies or the Entenmann's this time. Yes, I can. <laughs> I at least get one of them! Well, then you better take it early. <laughs> oh my god. To ensure you actually get one! Oh my god. I can't with you. Yes, the devil's food donuts. That's what she gets. I like the regular ones, too, but the devil's food is just, oh, it's melting your mouth good. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they're good. I would have liked to have one, yeah. <laughs> you salty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we really need to go to Mission Barbecue for dinner tonight, because now I really want brisket. <laughs> you drive. Okay, I'll drive. Jesus. <laughs> We're gonna drive Bruce. <laughs> no! <laughs> she doesn't like my truck. Because it's a Ford, and it's gonna rattle apart. It's not gonna rattle apart. It's He's gonna be good. found on the road dead. Has he, has he caused us any issues since we have got him? It's also raining. <laughs> oh, goodness. But, um... But, um... Oh, I was gonna say, do we have any business up up that way? Up what way? Up in Bel Air. We don't really have anything other than... I was gonna say, do we need to go up there for anything? Because, like... No, I mean... I went to the vet yesterday up there, but that was it. Damn, I was gonna say, do we have any errands we could run and then just stop by there? Uh, there's a Barnes & Noble right there. Ooh, we could go to Barnes & Noble and then... No, you know how I am in that store. Yeah, you could go get a book. It's dangerous. We could go get you a book. Uh, Future Mrs. Martin 2.0 says, uh, aren't there cows in Minecraft? Just collect a bunch of cows and use that, lol. I have no idea how Minecraft works. I've just been watching you for weeks, lol. Man, I appreciate that. And yes, so here's the thing, though, which I'm kind of salty about because you can get blocks of, like, anything. And there is, uh, like, meat. So you have, this is the cooked beef. Let me go to... Where's the non- okay. So this is what the beef looks like, but it's not like a placeable object. It's a- if I could turn it into a block, I would 100% make a it- A meat block. Right? <laughs> you should be able to make a meat block. A block of cooked beef. And that- look at how perfect that would be! It would be so perfect! But you can only eat- you can only eat the cooked beef. You can't, like, put it down. Which is unfortunate. Invader, you're not wrong. What? Fix or repair daily is what it stands for. But it also stands for, like J JKD Buck said, board fixed, or, uh, not fixed, uh, <laughs> over rebuilt Dodge. Um, that's my favorite. Um, find other ride daily. You're just salty that your truck isn't as cool as mine. Excuse me? See if you ever get a ride in Kane again. I'm sorry, I love him. I love your truck. Super smooth. Super smooth. And it doesn't, like, squeak or rattle at all, which is nice. And you know what? Hmm. When we go to dinner with my grandfather from now on, you can drive Bruce. No. Yes. No. No, because you don't appreciate Kane. I do appreciate Kane. I just said you're just jealous that my truck is better than yours. Negative. <laughs> Never will it be better. It might be better. N no. No. It could be. But it's not. But it might be. But it's not. 
The only thing you got on me is the column shift. Yes, I hate the I hate knob. that knob. The, I hate that fucking knob. The twister knob is, like, gay. You're I got, gay! I, yes. Well, I am, too, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> uh so i still have the call the like column shifter and i love that because i can that yeah i will say like i do miss my column shift that's the only thing brucey oh. boys got on, on y'all just y'all just mad that my found two, on road dead y'all just mad that my 2000 ford ranger is more awesome than y'all's cars that's what it is y'all are just jealous of my 2000 ford ranger which when i realized my truck was 24 years old i was like oh <laughs> ford backwards is driver returns on foot <laughs> Hey, my truck has been good. It's a 2000 Ford Ranger. Don't. Dude, no. <laughs> Bobby Bologna, they're not gay. They're awesome. They're legitimate. Okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. No. Alright. <laughs> Does it have the stick shift? Good anti-theft device. No, it's not a stick shift. It's a, it is a automatic. Um, but that would be cool if it was a if it was a stick. I have to get better at driving stick. Yeah, you do. I'm not the worst. No, no, you did very well going from neutral to first, and then first to second. Well, and then when we were in Europe, I drove the stick, the uh, the van a lot, which that was stick shift. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do the bottom. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh my god! He almost Our cat fell. just fell. Just almost fell off the couch, <laughs> and he wants to catlock me again. And I have now been catlocked yet again. Hmm. But it's okay. I don't mind being catlocked. Most of the time. Especially because today's chilly. I love when he sits and cuddles with me on a cold, rainy day. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> you know, I wanted to get a stick shift. It would have been cool, but uh, it was hard enough to find... It was hard enough to find a Ford, an old Ford Ranger that you know, was decent. How long did I look for a truck? Mm, I think it was like three months you were looking for one. Yeah, it was like three months of steady, like, every day looking for a truck. Oh, yes. If I had the money, I'd get a 69 Dodge Charger and paint it to look like the General Lee. Oh, my God. Yes. I love that idea. <laughs> See, because if I got a 1979 uh, Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, I would have it look exactly like the Smokey and the Bandit one. Cool. You don't understand. I love that car. It yeah. doesn't have to be the most powerful. Like, I understand the engine was, like, severely underpowered in one of the models. I can't remember which one. And... It just, I love the look of that car. Like, that's one of the very last muscle, quote-unquote, muscle cars to be created in America. They don't make the Mach 2 anymore. The, uh, Mustang. It was doing so poorly and nobody wanted to buy it. Oh, they went that, back. that yeah. electric Mustang? That, that weird that SUV looking... Because that's not a Mustang, but, like, a Mustang is a sports car. Yeah. I agree. Nothing about that was a sports car. No, that was a piece of shit. Like, I almost feel like companies are, like, purposely self-imploding themselves with these stupid-ass decisions. Self-imploding like... themselves? Okay, I realize that that is a little... I know, I didn't say that right. 
but I really do feel like they're, like, self-sabotaging themselves, almost. Like, Wendy's came out with that stupid freaking like, oh, we're gonna charge you more for, you know, how popular the item becomes throughout the day. Like, it'll become more expensive. Explain that to people, because I don't think people realized Wendy's actually implemented that they for implemented a day. It. Yeah, it was, like, for a day, but then the internet backlash so, became so hard. Talk about that. Um, so Wendy's came out with a plan where they were going to, um... Gradually raise the prices. Gradually raise the prices. So, for instance, you know, we'll take, like, a Dave's Double and a Baconator, all right? Essentially, both are the same freaking sandwich. You know, the Baconator just has bacon on it. And, you know, the Dave's Double has lettuce, tomato, that kind of jet. So different ingredients, but still has two burger patties and, like, a bun. Alright? Just toppings are a little bit different. And their whole logic was that they were going to charge more. So if more people, let's say throughout the day bought a baconator so out of 50 people coming into the store you know 30 people bought baconators they would raise the price of the baconator throughout the day so that by let's say they start serving lunch at, at 10 a.m you know 10 a.m the baconator at that time is 10.99 combo but by 5 o'clock, because all of those people had ordered a Baconator, it's now nineteen ninety nine for the same frickin' Baconator. But the Dave's Double, because nobody really ordered the Dave's Double that day... It's still like $2. It's still like ten ninety nine or eleven ninety nine, And it's like, but it's the, like, it's the same burger patties. It's the same bread. It's just a different top, and you're going to sit there and charge me more because I decided I wanted bacon as my topping instead of lettuce and tomato. Like, the price is the price. You don't get to fluctuate the, the price based on the demand for the food because you're still using, a, besides using more bacon, like, that's, that's it. You don't get to ch like change the the price of the freaking food throughout the day because you're using more bacon. Mm. Because the price of the baconator is supposed to cover down for the cost of the ingredients on the food anyway. Yeah. Where you make a, a slight profit margin off of what it costs. Yeah. But that's not how that's not how they were trying to make it work. But the internet thankfully backlashed them, and they, <laughs> they rescinded that in, like... They backlashed them! They rescinded that in, like, a day's time. And they were like, yeah, okay, we're not gonna implement that. But then, now McDonald's is trying that crap. Are like, they really? The same well, McDonald's time. isn't trying the same exact crap. They're just raising their prices as if they're a gourmet restaurant. And it's like, babes, at You're least not. here in America, your food tastes like plastic. You need to get together and realize you're standing in our um, society. You are not gourmet. You're... What, what's that damn... The Big Mac. Your Big Mac is barely two freaking patties. You have more bread than patties on there, okay? And you're charging me almost 15 freaking dollars for a combo... Get out of here. Your dollar menu ain't even a dollar anymore. It's like four dollars now. Ugh. Three, four dollars. You are not gourmet. No. Sit down. Be humble. <laughs> Sit down. Be humble. What do you think? Well, this is how I'm going to do the chess. You cannot tell me McDonald's is the number one most profitable fast food restaurant in America, in the world, honestly. It, and okay, you cannot, okay. I, I, it's, no. Other countries, McDonald's in, like, Poland and... They have fresher ingredients. They do, they do it differently in the rest of the world because the rest of the world does not put up with the crap that 
the Americans allow. I know, for but like reason. McDonald's is very good in other countries. So I'm like, not, I'm not saying that. I'm oh. I'm literally saying that McDonald's is the number one. Oh, I thought you said it couldn't be the most number one. No, they are the number one fast food restaurant in the world. Yeah. But you can't, so you can't sit there and say that, like, oh, we have to raise our prices for inflation. Bitch, you're the number one most profitable fast food restaurant in the world. You don't need to raise your prices. Agreed! You just need to take a cut, a cut of loss on your profits is what you need. Mm. They're never gonna do Instead that. Instead of making the customer cover down so that you can still get your the same size bonuses at the end of the year and you know all these extra perks that you get maybe perhaps you take a cut into your pay that would be funny to show that you have customer loyalty that you appreciate the fact that people continue to come back but and... they don't appreciate oh, it oh i know because that's not how it works anymore no corporations have the power you're lucky to be getting their product <laughs> like yeah. you are blessed that they are allowing you to consume their product I would be blessed to never have had their product yeah but don't get me wrong like I do like their fries they have silicone in their fries at least here in America I don't care they're good <laughs> oh I don't care okay they're good you know their Coke is actually extra sweet. That's why uh, Coke from a can, Coke from a bottle, and Coke from McDonald's taste different. Because McDonald's made a deal with Coca-Cola back in the day that they would have the sweetest Coca-Cola. And so Coca-Cola makes McDonald's Coke the sweetest. Interesting. I didn't Just know that. it tastes different. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. And I mean, obviously, we can all infer why it tastes different from a can and a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have. What is that? Oh! What? 1999 Super Chat for the Date Night Book and Mission Barbecue Fund. Oh, thank you, Future Ms. Martin 2.0, for the $20 Super Chat. Ooh, see, now we have to go get barbecue. That's what I'm saying. Thank you so much. And you know what that means? That means you get a monument! Oh, okay. Now I get to... All right. And then Tammy said, with oh, $5 and... super chat says, Hello! Good morning, Flux and Mrs. Flux and chat. Hello! Good morning, Tammy F. Uh... All right, so we got to, for the future Mrs. Martin 2.0, we have to get you a monument. And we have to get you a cool sign. But where are we going to put your monument? Let's see. I feel like I want to put one where, like, take down this tree and put one right here. Like, right on this corner. I think I might take down a couple of these trees. What do you think, Miss Fox? I think you do whatever you want to do. Or like right here, because we don't have one right here. Ooh! <laughs> yes! It would be right next to you, Tammy! Yeah, okay, I'm taking down this tree. And we are putting your monument right here. Because this... There needs to be a monument here. And I know... I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to use the, uh, pink, uh... I'm going to use these ones. <coughs> yes! To light up the area! Alright, hold on one second. Let me get this tree out the way. The spruce. Hell yeah! Alright, so... Did I get all of it? I have to make sure to get the wood out. Yes! Okay. Damn. What? Alright, so we are going... Yes! Right on, like, this corner. Hell yeah. yeah! You got the American flag in the background overlooking the entire... Hell yeah! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hell yeah, I love the frog lights so much. Like, I think they're so cool looking. 
All right. And what would you, what do you want to, is there anything that you want to uh, put on the sign? Like, is there anything you want me to say specifically? Um, I think I'm going to get purple. I can't, okay. I was in the wrong section, that's why. Purple and... All right. Hell yeah. So we're going to go. Oh, hell yeah. Um, two point. Oh, and until, uh, until you have something you specifically want me to say, I am going to put, um, what should I put? What phrase or saying? Oh, my, my cat is sitting in my lap and he's being all cuddly and lovey right now and he's touching my face with his paw. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> Bad Duck says, uh, lesbian fight, get the camera. Um, let's see, we're going to put... I don't know what to put. I'm trying to think of a fun phrase or something. I really want to put a funny phrase that I learned a long time ago, but it's super inappropriate. But it's funny. Like, um, I want to put spooning leads to forking. <laughs> Just until she tells me what she wants her sign to say. That's a funny phrase. No, I'm, I'm getting a disappointing, uh... It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm putting it... <laughs> Spooning leads to, I gotta adjust that, oh, I don't know, I don't know where I heard, first heard that, but, um, it's always, it's always made me really laugh. All right. Huh? Approval. Okay. Hold on. I'm just adjusting. Yes! I got approval! She likes the spoonie and leads to forking. I think it's like the most hilarious thing. And I don't know where I heard it, but it's like, it's always made me laugh. Yes! Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And this is a good spot, too. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yes. Yes, and the chat approves of it, too. So not only does the future Miss Martin 2.0 approve of it, but chat also thinks it's funny. <laughs> Oh, man. See, I'm, what do all of them say? I, I haven't gone through Marloka, only fun times and sunshines. I like that one. Dave told me to uh, be creative, so that's what I put. <laughs> be creative. Uh, Snafu told me to put something nice, so I put something nice. Danielle, I said, hey, lady. 
Jamie is our lash queen, so I say yes, queen. Billy Aoki, my dude. And then one of my favorites, shut up, Stingy. Stingy isn't here today. Rude. And then we got Val Hallow Waits, who is, of course, the Being goat. Being enveloped. Being enveloped, but he is the goat daddy and enveloped He's by... the little spoon. <laughs> Keep me away from Dave. Put me by Val. <laughs> Oh, and this is G T T E C. Oh, oh hell yes! What? Need to about the size of those tires. I I have to see it from far away, or not far away, but I have to view it from. Ver, ver, I keep saying further. <laughs> further. I just like <laughs> stroked <laughs> out <laughs> further back. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I think that looks that looks good. I think that's better. Chat. What do you think? Are the bigger tires better? I mean, they're already... Look, I mean, look at this, Mrs. Flux. Tell me they're not already better. Mrs. Flux, look at this. Yeah. The bigger tires are better. Definitely. I do like that better. Yeah. <laughs> Bad Duck says much better. Tammy says yes, better. Okay. All right. Thank you. Xterra Bill says, Killdozer, no, this is just, uh, this is Fundian's monument, Hell Truck. Hell truck. So, it is, I have taken inspiration from the... With the baby tires. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I have to change them. But now that I have a good size for them, they will all be changed and will look a lot better. Um, but I took inspiration from the Mad Max fuel truck and the... Jet engine uh, semi truck that, r at least here in, in America, races the Blue Angel. I think it was called the Shockwave or something like that. Yeah. But it had like a giant like jet engine on the back, so that's kind of like what the hood and the Invader Tuck says looks like something out of Mad Max. Yeah. That's what I was going for, cause like that's a plow. That's supposed to be a plow on the front there. Like, I'm happy with how the plow came out. I'm just not sure about the materials that I used. What do you mean the materials? Like, okay, so that's stone and uh, nether brick. And I don't know if I like that combination together. Because I was going for, like, a, a rusty look. Mm-hmm. But I don't... I don't know if I like it. Well, let me look at the stairs in my pack. All right, Xterra Bill uh, confirmed it for me. Shockwave. Eh, yeah. Um, no, we don't really have a steel. We have iron. Like, but I you I can't get iron. But you can't do iron stairs. Yeah, that's that's the problem. I need something that like, I can use for stairs that would. Oh, that is what you got. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I just don't, I don't, I mean, I like the design Ooh, of it, what I like the, the way it looks, I just don't like the, like I said, what I just don't that? like the material. What is that, a mud block? No, that's, mud brick? that's the, um, pur, purr stairs. Purr purr! They are like a bright purple in my pack, like, look, look at this shit. That's a bright <laughs> No, look how look how it looks in my pack. I in know, my pack you... that looks good. That looks like a step. You should leave that as like the step step up. <laughs> but no, it doesn't it doesn't look that bright in in the realistic pack that I see. It doesn't look like it's a like a dark know, but in my plastic pack this <laughs> is a bright purple. <laughs> you should um you should try putting down this and see how it looks. Oh, I'm not. I'm not looking for you to. I, you should just put down the purper and see how it looks. 
The purper. Future Mrs. Martin 2.0 says, I like it. Thanks. Shameless plug, if I may. Sean is doing uh, Steven Lorenzo later today. Guy asked for death penalty because sooner he dies, sooner he can get another body and come back. He's a sobs. Oh, my God. Everybody, uh, any of my mods, can you um, link potentially criminals uh, page? Because I I want to watch that. Like, what what is... Like, I remember... It, is that the Texas case? Is it Texas? Why are you looking at me like I would know? I don't know. You don't know any of this stuff. I do not. Uh, I do remember this dude asking for the death penalty because he's like, yeah, it's going to be a lot cushier on death row. He's like, I want to be comfortable. And he's like, I'm going to die in prison anyways, and this is all going to appeal, so just please give me the death penalty. That way, like, I can be more comfortable. And the judge essentially granted it and was like, well, if you want the death penalty, okay. And it's like, no, he only wanted it because he's going to sit on death row for the next 20 years anyways, and he just wants to be in his nice own cushy cell doing his own thing. <laughs> but yes... Uh, everybody go check out Potentially Criminal and definitely subscribe. And, uh, I, I want to see, I'm definitely going to watch that. And I don't have, I'm, I'm stoked because I don't think we plan, I have any streams planned or anything for tonight. So I think I might just. The local lesbian? Are we doing that tonight? You said we were. Oh. Oh. We don't have to. <laughs> I was going to take tonight off. <laughs> oh, we might end up doing the local lesbian tonight. Oh. Well, it's not a oh. It's just a... We're going to do date night and go out to Mission Barbecue and do date night tonight. Oh. oh yes. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing date night tonight. Nice recovery. Thank you. Uh, what time is, hold on, what time is that stream? He killed two gay guys back in 203 with his boyfriend after picking them. Oh, oh, that's going to be a good one. What time is he doing that? I'm going to check because that's going to be one that I'm going to watch. That sounds awesome. So, yeah. Let's see. I think it needs to be a little bigger, like, come out a little further, and maybe be a little bit... Well, no, I like it. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. Um... I think it looks... it looks good. got all quiet like uh, <laughs> looking at it mm, yeah I think I think it's I think it's good I do like it I like the ramp uh, not sure time yet. Sean went to get his haircut. <laughs> nice. Sometime this afternoon. Dope. Yes, guys, go over to Potentially Criminal and make sure to turn, uh, like, you hit the bell so that YouTube, uh... You can be notified. At least attempts to... Did you know that when you turn on notifications, only 25% of, like, your subscribers actually get notified? Like, it's it has to do with, like, the algorithm yeah. shit. I have you set up when, on the belt. Like, you're the, pretty much the only one of my subscriptions I have put on notifications. And your... It, it never sends me like any type of alert notification like nothing yeah youtube is is sketchy like that 
But sometimes they will send it out. So, guys, always make sure to turn on the notifications and then, like, you know, check them out. Uh, Rosalind Duke, I'm going to be digging into the dirt, but we'll definitely be listening. Oh, you're doing some uh, gardening? I really wish it wasn't so rainy here today. That would be nice. I gotta make the cheese like dripping off or like melting down. So it's gonna like, this is just a, a reference right now, but it's kind of gonna just come down. So if I were to, I'm just going to cut it off right here, and then it's going to come out, up, and over, I did that weird. Oh, let's see, keep, oh, I have it on the wrong one, damn it! No, this is good. trying to get the cheese melting just right, you know? No, I don't. I just want the cheese to melt! Do need it here. Oh shoot. Here, here. And it's gonna be here and here. Alright, and then this will be cheese. So that's essentially how it's going to look. What do you think? Because it's melting off the side. Except I need to... Uh, I'm going to have to figure that out a little bit. That's a little funky. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily... I don't think it's necessarily wrong. Well, you could finish it up and then see how you like it. Well. Oof. It's off. Squid pro quo is lurking. <laughs> Squid is always lurking. Is baby Squid also... Mer uh, mod lurking. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. Wait. Hold on. Guys, are they streaming the Jody Arias? Is Nick and MLS streaming the Jody Arias trial? Because it's not coming up. And I was about to redirect you because it was Jody time. Are they done with it?
Alan69 in the house. What's up, Alan69? How's it going? I guess they don't, they're done with the Jody Arias trial. Um, so guys, every, every Saturday we used to dump into Nick and, uh, Nick and MLS. However, I think they're probably done because I don't see any trial going. Wait, no, there it is. It is there. I see it. Why can I not redirect to, I see it on my phone, but it's not letting me redirect you guys there. Hold on. Let me try refreshing the page. It says that it's upcoming. Yeah, but I should be able to redirect. And I don't know why it's not allowing me to redirect. So, like, see how it says, um, search for videos from other channels? It says no live or upcoming content. And then, like... N nobody is there. Like, I'm not even signed in. Guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to redirect today. My redirect stuff isn't working. Oh, there it's... There it is, right there. Wow, this is weird. It's not pulling up Dave's. It's only pulling up Nick's. This is weird. Well, you redirected to Dave last week, didn't you? I don't remember. <laughs> Um, this is a theme every week, in case you guys didn't know. But, yeah, okay. I just... You never remember. No, I never remember. Um, my, my redirect has been uh, having issues lately. Like, it won't populate any, like, any of my subscriptions or, like, anybody that's... You know that what? Is, you know what, what? What? It's probably operator error. Oh, my God. Your operator error. Why did it magically work as soon as I looked at it? Because it likes you better. Oh, is that what it was? Or it could just be operator error? No. No. Do you not boomer stuff? I don't know what was going on. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out. We are going to wrap it up today. Um... Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for everybody who super chatted. We will be back next week for another episode of Minecraft in the Morning. Minecraft in the morning. Morning Minecraft. Oh, we should have somebody write us a little jingle. No. Yes! Somebody write us a little jingle for Minecraft in the morning. I'm so sorry I ever did that. What the fu- No! No! Just pause it! <laughs> What were you watching on how to... Uh... I think Nick just started. <laughs> Guys, have a fantastic day. Be excellent to each other. And uh, last week... See, yeah, last week they we went to Nick. Oh, did you? I don't know what's going on with the redirect, but it's not pulling up anybody. Uh, I got it at least... At least um, it let me find Nick. So we're going to Nick again this week. Uh, that's fine. Dave's retired anyways. <laughs> Guys, again, thank you all so much for stopping by. We will see you next week. Come back on Monday for some Skyrim gameplay. That's going to continue, and that's going to be fun. Um, yeah, be excellent to each other, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Okay, bye!